week eight coming up. Let's just do a review. There's not going to be a game in this video, just FYI. We're just going to look at this, uh, accept all that. We're still not ranked, which is fair play because we don't play anybody worth anything. I'm not going to do the recruiting or the coaching stuff because we'll just worry about that later. All right, top 25. Let's have a look. Uh, Pre-week eight, we got A&M. 6-0, and number one in the country with 40. Let's look at who they've beaten. That's pretty crazy. They beat Bama in overtime. Nice. Other than that, I mean, just your run-of-the-mill little schedule. Georgia's undefeated. Any big wins there? Clemson, they smoked Clemson. They smoked LSU. Dang, okay, Georgia's looking good. Uh, they've got Florida coming up. That'll be a nice one. Ohio State's undefeated. As you do, they don't play anybody. I mean, Wisconsin's actually 5-1, and one, so they do play... Wisconsin, that's pretty good. And they got 6-0 and Michigan. Man, Ohio State's got a tough schedule, not going to lie. Michigan, NC State's undefeated. I noticed they go undefeated a lot in Dynasties. I do. They beat Wake. Wake is a pretty good team. There's so there's nine. Is that it? Ten. Ten undefeated. Eleven undefeated, counting us 12 undefeated, and all the other undefeated that might not be ranked. That's crazy. Alabama down at number 17. Not a good look for them. Texas with a loss. They lost to OU. Lost to Oklahoma by one. I mean, that's a pretty good schedule, too. West Virginia, Texas. They got Baylor. Oklahoma State might be good at the end of the season. Interesting. All right, let's go look at the Heisman watch, see who we got up here. Kendall Milton, the quarterback for Georgia. The names aren't right on here for some reason. No, they are right. Okay. Kendall Milton. I was about to say because... That's not too bad. B. John Robinson. A lot of halfbacks. <laughs> All halfbacks, matter of fact. Uh, let's see. Let's do the stats. Where are the stats? Stats and records. Season stats. We're not going to be winning any awards here, but it's always nice to, to see where you stand. I don't think we've done too bad. We might have some, some guys. I mean, Avion Smith is going to be leading in, in rating. He's got 11 touchdowns. I mean, it's a respectable number. We've thrown a couple picks, though. Man, this guy's got 21 touchdowns, no picks. You joke. 300 yards a game. Whoa, dude. USC. Wow. He's going off. Is that the most touchdowns? Second most with no picks. Sheesh. How's he not in the Heisman race? Uh, let's see. Obviously not us here. Moses got 11 touchdowns, second in the country in touchdowns. That's really good. 72 yards a game is respectable. It's not the greatest. It's respectable. Yards after contact. I mean, we're not just judging by our volume. We're not going to have enough to to really be on top here, but that's fine. I don't think Hip and Hammer is going to be good enough to be up here. I'm going to go find him though. Surely we've got more than five. Am I receiving? Am I losing my mind? Am, am I missing something? Is there like a qualifying receptions amount you have to have? I mean, I, f I feel like I should be seeing him here. What's going on? Kick returns. Let's just get let's just give the boy a shout out. Wait, he might be up there in yards. Ooh, fourth in the country in yards on kick returns. Just love to see it. Do we have anybody here? Is it a possibility? I doubt it. That guy's got five picks. We do. I know we got a guy up here. He's got, what's his name? Saunders has got two. I'm not seeing my guys. There's so many guys with two. This is the lost cause. I, we don't really force a ton of fumbles, so I'm not too worried about that. But yeah, that's about it. Not really a lot to review. We're still in the chunk of this first season. Uh, top 25. A lot of fun. A lot of undefeated. There's going to be a ton of action coming up. The next review is going to be a sweet one because it'll be conference championships shaping up. We'll go have a quick look at the conference standings while we wrap this up. Uh, the MAC, we are leading the conference only because we're 6-0. and Akron is 3-0 in conference play. we got to watch out for that. we got to watch out for that big time. We play them too. Uh, we play them next. Ooh, that's a big game. That's for the lead in the MAC East. Who's Mac West looking like? Western Michigan. Broncos are a good squad. 3-0. and Let's go look at the other guys here. Big 10. Who's leading the Big 10? 
let's go to the con. Let's go to this. Michigan, Ohio State, obviously. Michigan State is – wow, this is a loaded – the Big Ten East is loaded. Nebraska, that's a bit unrealistic. Big 12, Oklahoma, Texas, what else? Oklahoma's not really good in real life, but they're good in this game right now. Memphis, Louisville, the American Conference. Miami, right, let's do that. Let's do the coast, the coastal and Atlantic here. NC State undefeated. Maryland, 5-1, and one. that's impressive. Wake Forest, Clemson, three losses. How about that? Miami, 5-0. and oh. Pittsburgh, 5-0. and oh. Georgia Tech, 5-1. and one. There's, there's still some, look. There's some good teams. Maybe not in that conference. Oregon, 5-1, and 3-0 and in conference play. USC, obviously, hammering people. 2-13, look at this. This is a team to watch out for. This is a team to watch out for, that's for sure. Georgia, commanding lead in the East. Well, I say commanding. They're only up one game. But the defense, 75 points allowed. Ridiculous. A&M, similar story. 90 points allowed, undefeated in conference play. Alabama and Auburn, Arkansas, the A's bringing up the rear. Yeah, that's about it. We will go ahead and get into the next game on the next episode. I will see you then.